with our uploader in place and our credentials saved, now it's time to create our API connector. So in initializers, create a new file and save it as fog.rb. And I'm gonna bring some code in here because I didn't figure you'd wanna watch me type all of this out manually. But we will go line by line um, just so you're clear on what everything does. So first you'll see that we are calling the carrier wave class and the configure method. So this is actually something built in with carrier wave as opposed directly with fog. So we're taking carrier wave and we pass in, or we're starting a code block. And in this code block, we're setting up our fog credentials, our fog directory, and then if it's public or not. So right here, we are setting up the provider as AWS, our AWS access key ID, is getting passed through the environment variable AWS access key ID. So this is looking in our application.yaml file for this, this, and this. And that's really as basic as it is. So you create those files and then you plug in each one of these key IDs. And you can either grab this code from the repo or you can type it all out manually. Uh, if you've never done this before, I actually recommend you do that so your mind starts to really get in the habit of remembering how symbols are typed in and hash rockets and everything like that. So um, enter all this in and that's all you need to connect to AWS using FOG.